Hello there guys, today I'm going to show you how to update the MacBook to OS Sierra and I've got the MacBook Pro, it's the early 2015 edition so what you do is go in the App Store and then you'll see it right there or you could just press download here where it says uh, Mac OS Sierra so you just download there So now I should be saying downloading here. There you go. So if you click on it, it will say how long it's going to take. So here it's saying 21 minutes. Some of the new features are you can now copy on your MacBook and you can now paste on your iOS device which is pretty good and you could do the vice versa so if you wanted to copy something from your iPad you can paste it onto your laptop so if you was working on a document or something and you found something on your iOS device you could literally just copy anything and you can paste it onto your MacBook which is really helpful so that's one of the new things and also you've got now Siri which does a lot more things as well you've got Apple Pay now you can use on your MacBook so there's a few new new stuff so now you've got Siri results on notifications here are some pictures so there you go this is the picture of this person copying the picture from the iPhone and putting it into their Mac You can now unlock your MacBook with your Apple Watch, which is really handy as well. So you don't need to put your uh, password in every time. So that's something good as well. So no, no password typing required now if you've got an Apple Watch, which is on Watch OS 3. And then you've got the little memory section as well. We have on iOS as well. You've got the memory pictures where it helps you discover favorites and forgotten moments. So it's really good updates they've got. Size is 4.77 gigabytes. The update version 10.12. So there you go. So it says here you can copy and paste between your devices. Automatic login with your Apple Watch. Yeah. So you can now do shop on the web so you can pay with the Apple Pay and you've got iCloud documents as well which is really good so whatever you got on your iPhone and iCloud you can now find it on your Mac and it's got an optimization, uh, optimization storage as well for your Mac so it optimizes everything for you so they put stuff onto your iCloud which is really good so something that you haven't used for a while, they just update it to iCloud instead of using your Mac memory, which is really good as well. So you've got additional tools, helps you remove files you don't need to save even more space. You've got now picture in picture as well, so you can play your favorite video whilst doing other things. You've got Apple Music now as well on the Mac. And your iMessage as well. You can get larger emojis, the iOS 10 handy emojis, the tap bags. So it's quite good. You've got stickers as well, digital touch. So now they all come up on your MacBook now as well, which is really good. So I've got another 13 more minutes. Okay, now the update has been downloaded so now we just have to follow the steps here so we just press continue and then press agree I agree 
and then it's going to be installing the software on the Macintosh HD hard drive and then just continue again and it just needs the password So you're saying about one minute. So that wouldn't take too long. So just now you just need to press restart. Close other programs if you've got any other ones running in the background. Okay, so now it should be just restarting now. <laughs> so now it should be installing this. It's just like how you do it, how it's normally on iOS as well. You look at the Apple logo with the little bar there. So now we just need to wait for that to be all finished. So the MacBook has now been updated, so what I have to do is now sign in for the first time, after the update. Oh, still got another 13 minutes. Sorry, that I thought it was nearly finished. So now it's asking to sign in again. Sign in with the Apple ID. So now you just have to accept the terms and condition. Agree again. So this is where you could get all your files from your documents and desktop and you can put it into your iCloud drive, which is really good. So on my one, it's all the files from document folder on the desktop will automatically upload to iCloud Drive and stay up to date with all your devices. And it's going to use 241 MB of my iCloud storage. So that's fine. So now it says to enable Siri. So you can send messages, dictate a note or check the weather. So things like all those stuffs. So that's ticked here as well. So make sure it's ticked if you want it on. Continue. So now it's just setting up the Mac. Okay, and that should be now done. So now if I go on about this Mac, 10.12, or mm, there it says Mac OS Sierra. So now that's all done. And let's quickly check if there's any updates. So there's some updates to the keynote numbers and pages. So just checking for more updates again. Okay. <laughs> so with these now you can do real-time collaboration, which is really good. So what you can do with that is you can edit a presentation with others at the same time in Keynote for Mac, iPad, iPhone and you could do on iCloud.com so that's really good
now they're all gonna start downloading so this is the new background so now we've got the Siri logo here now this is the notification we've got iTunes there So that's, that's how you update it, so now it's all done now, so you're ready to go now. Thank you for watching, please like, share and subscribe.